Till this time we learned a lot about the derivative of algebraic functions and now today onward we'll be focusing more on a derivative of trigonometric uh, functions and uh, I'm requesting you please go to the trigonometric chapter and learn all the concept all the tricks to solve the trigonometric uh, expressions or you can say identities everything you should learn you know every tricks every every kind of tricks you know half angle formula uh, uh, everything you know and the normal identities and if there are like uh, angles like twice of angle and thrice of angle those all related you know every every concept you you first get it and then uh, if you try to find out the derivative of a trigonometric functions then it will be very very easy so it is better to once go back to the trigonometric chapter and learn a little good concept from there and then again uh, start this derivative of trigonometric functions so you know uh, uh, like uh, if you want to learn the multiplication uh, like uh, uh, normal multiplication you used to learn in the primary level you know so first you know table you should uh, learn I mean so first you should learn the tables like table of 2 like 2 times 1 equals to 2 like like 5 times 3 equals to 15 like that you had learned the tables you know and the table is very important to do the multiplication similarly to, if you want to uh, find out the derivative of the trigonometric functions then you should have first you know the six ratios I'm going to talk and their derivative I'm going to talk you must know those things then only you can easily comfortably find out the derivative of uh, functions you know a trigonometric functions so let's learn those six uh, basic uh, re trigonometric ratios all right so the first one like derivative of the sine function you know uh, suppose here x is our angle so derivative of the sine x is cos x this is our first okay the first one is derivative of sine x is cos x somewhere you may be uh, saying like uh, derivative of the function sine x prime is cos x like this you might have seen somewhere so it's just a different way uh, another way to represent and again derivative of cos x is minus sine x alright uh, if you write in this way it will be derivative of cos x is minus sin x here x is the angle all right and next one let's talk third one derivative of tan x all right so derivative of tan x you might be uh, i mean uh, expecting uh, related to the card but it is not it is uh, sec square x all right derivative of tan x is sec square x or if you say in this way uh, f prime of tan x all right f prime of tan x we can say derivative of tan x is sec square x and you know see here uh, like derivative of sine is cos and derivative of cos is sine negative sine it is similar derivative of tan is sec so derivative of sec is also related with the tan all right so derivative of sec x is sec x times tan x all right or in this way if you want to say then derivative of the sec x is uh, sec x times tan x and the uh, uh, last two couple the fourth one is uh, like derivative of now uh, let's talk about cosec cosec x all right with respect to x it will be minus cosec of x times cotangent or you can simply say cot x or in another way if you want to say derivative of the cosec x or f prime of cosec x is simply minus cosec x times cot x and the sixth one please learn this you know it's very very important and uh, derivative of cot x is now minus minus cosec square x all right or in this way if you want to write then it is simply f prime of cot x is minus cosec square x so these six formula please 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 completely insert in your brain before going to solve the derivative of the trigonometric ratios